Hello everyone and welcome to a very beautiful October day here in Bavaria. Oh my god, it's warm. <laughs> it was rainy for last two, three weeks. It was gross. Ugh. Finally, Friday and finally nice weather and it should be nice till Tuesday or something. It's nice. I want to talk to you about some things that I cannot wait with the ID3. Just tiny little things. I'm not talking about going electric or anything just to have a new car all my life i've been well that's not true but let's say the last 20 years about 15 years i always owned used old cars cheap cars with no features and just old they that has some advantages and i want to talk to you about that too so with the ID3, I cannot wait to have normal Bluetooth. Right now, <laughs> you can see it here. Uh, my phone uh, is via Bluetooth connected to a little uh, 12 volt outlet thing. And this via radio frequency goes into the radio. Yes, there's some uh, Bluetooth adapter or anything, but just it's just not the normal thing if your car doesn't do it. And then speakers. I can't wait for good speakers. I always had cars with horrible speakers. So, yes, light. The, car, the lights in, in this car aren't as bad as the car we had before. It was practically dark. This is better, but I cannot wait for the LED lights. So, don't worry about lights, bulbs uh, are not working. You have to fix them. And, and then auto high beams and the um, matrix iq light i dig that so i'm i'm just something i'm excited about all the little details about the id3 the ambient light i have to see it's very possible it could annoy me and be too bright in here or maybe it's just very subtle and very nice and i like it we'll see the screen finally have some navigation everything on a screen and have options and see consumption i don't have any way here in this car to see my consumption i always have to calculate when i fuel up i would love to have that and then seat heating oh my god i <laughs> can't wait for that in the winter too and preheating ah oh, get in a warm car oh hope i so hope they don't screw it up come to the negative points ah uh, more keyless entry this is why I got line 2 plus for the ID3 first edition. I want keyless entry. I want to be able to lock and unlock with a normal key, but I want to get in the car and drive. So get it's not about the that you that I'm uh, that I'm near the car and that the car unlocks itself. That's, that's not my favorite thing. It's okay, it's nice. Um, for me, it's more that I don't have to get in there and put a key in some something or uh, a press a button. Just get in and drive. That sounds very nice and, and I want that. Oh, what else do we have? The gear change. Oh, can't wait to not have to change gear. It's so annoying get to work in the morning when there's a bit of traffic and then stop and go. And it's a bit of downhill, so first gear, no gear, first gear, no gear, braking, blah, 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 second gear, it gets a bit, uh, just annoying. Seat belts, yeah, this seat belt is screwed up, so when I uh, un <laughs> unlock it here, it just stays, so I have to eh, manually put it back, and then at some point it goes back, can't wait to have a normal seat belt that works. And I know a lot of those things have nothing to do with having an ID3, just a new car. Uh, then this car has a very annoying thing. When you put the airflow to the, to the window, then the AC goes on automatically and you have to uh, turn it off by hand every time. On. <laughs> so I have to. Turn it off every time when I get into the car. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Every time when I change it, the airflow to, to the window it comes on. Oh, what else do we have? Oh, yes. 
when it comes driving cornering so this car is very soft sus suspension when i go into and the seats are horrible seats are very very flat so uh, uh, i can move around a lot so it would nice to be held in with the seats and then of course the cornering because it has soft suspension it, it oh it doesn't feel safe <laughs> at all and it very small tires 15 inch am i right or 16 i think 15 inch so i'm looking forward to that to have a bit more cornering and then of course power this car is 105 or something horsepower and then 204 but electric horsepower it's just feels way quicker than a normal ice car with 200 horsepower i'm so looking forward to that just a comfortable drive and a quiet drive ah oh, i know you're all with me <laughs> all the id3 people there i know it oh by the way um so tomorrow today is friday tomorrow so even so either today in the evening or tomorrow i want to make weekly videos on the weekend and have some some news but not the normal news they're all talking about the same stuff that's happening i want to have some id3 news if i find something about the id3 and already found something that's not being talked about so much and i want to do ionity news a lot of all the new cars now they uh, they can charge a bit faster and they can charge on the ionity charges and then go long distance and i want to uh, uh, look at the map of Ionity and compare this week to, to, to last week and see what charges are new, what are being built, what is done and then look at them and then see how this is increasing and how uh, uh, traveling within Europe is just way easier, more comfortable. So I want to do that. Uh, and I want to talk of course about the survey that I did last last week thank you very much for 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 being a part of that a lot of people 170 or something did the survey and uh, it was like i thought so we'll talk about then Ooh. and then some negative things about the id3 just not about the car just things that come with it and the first thing is what i what i said before it's a new car always owned used cars so if i make a scratch here and there i don't care if I don't wash it, I, I never washed this car. I didn't wash the car that we had before for a few years. But then now it's a new car. So I have to think about how to wash it that there are no tiny little scratches in the paint or everything. And I have to think about that. And and with the dog in the back and then we, we have a, the little thing. So he's in there and doesn't destroy the seats, but the armrests, so, so the, 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 the doors, it's just stuff that I ha we have to think about and that's a bit stressful. <laughs> uh, I'm also uh, worried that when the ID3 comes out, that it's not completely perfect software wise. So that, yeah, everything's okay but uh, there will be an update soon so this works or oh, there will be an update soon then this works the way it's supposed to and uh, it's a bit stressful uh, and then of course regen uh, i know a lot of people love coasting i don't i want regen and i want to control my region with my accelerator pedal and uh, so I have one pedal driving feel and I'm scared that the ID3 will have the same region as the e-golf so you put it in drive and you have no region and then you have to do B to be in region I want it the other way I want region when I put it in drive and I'm worried they could do it in the software that if you put it in drive you have a, your region level that you want but I doubt that they will. That's a bit sad. It's okay to have coasting. I would just want it the other way around. I want, when I put it in drive, I want regen. If I do it again, coasting, if I need that. Just for me. Other people can have it a different way. Yeah, that could be annoying. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm looking forward. Oh, six months to go. 
who's excited six months is a long time the whole winter a whole of a lot of cold <laughs> thank you very much for watching have a great day and take care bye